K9 RMR. K9 RMR. JAJ Kilo 9 Juliet Alpha Juliet net control for this session of the Bartholomew County Aries net. Are there any stations holding emergency priority or welfare traffic? If so, please call now. The net, please alert net control with the pro word freight break, and I'll assist you with that emergency. Once again, net control is K9 JAJ. My name is Jeff, and I'm located here in Columbus in Bartholomew County. Net is held every Wednesday evening at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time as an ARIES training session and proper net procedures and to provide information regarding ARIES and other ham radio related activity in Bartholomew and surrounding counties. All stations are welcome to check in. You do not need to bring formal traffic to the net nor do you need to be a BC ARIES member. This is a directed net so please direct all communications through net control at all times. Are there any stations holding non-emergency or routine traffic? If so, please call. And no announcements for the net, I will now begin taking check-ins. Check-ins are handled alphabetically according to call sign suffix. Please check in by stating your call sign using plain English, followed by standard ITU phonetics, and include your name and your county. At this time, I'll take check-ins from all stations with suffixes Alpha through Lima. Alpha through Lima only. Please call Net Control K9JAJ. Hello, uh, John, Bartholomew County. KG9DK, good evening, John. We got you on the roster. Anyone else with the call sign suffix Alpha through Lima? Call now, please. Suffixes Mike through Zulu. Mike through Zulu only. Please call now. Kilo 9, Romeo, Mike, Romeo. Repeat. K9, RMR, Randall M. Roof, Tearsville, Bartholomew County. Uh, good evening, Jeff, and everybody else on the net this evening. Kilo Delta 9, Romeo, Papa, Bravo. 89, RPB, Bruce, Bartholomew County. Randall, but we got you. And also Bruce K D nine RPB and I believe there was a station that doubled with Bruce. Uh any other stations come again, please. W E nine M I Whiskey Echo Nine Mike India. Mike, Bartholomew County. Another station that broke squelch, but there was no audio. Someone else trying to check in. Uh call again, please. Net. We're taking check-ins. I'll take check-ins from any station anywhere. Suffix is Alpha through Zulu. Call now, please. Kilo Victor 9, Quebec. That's KV9Q, Mike, Bartholomew County. Kilo Delta 9, Papa Juliet Oscar, Ashley, Bartholomew County. Control acknowledging the dynamic deal, KV9Q and KD9PJO. Good evening, Mike and Ashley. Uh, good to have you on the net this week. Anyone else, any station, anywhere, wishing to check in, call now. And get some uh, comments from those on the roster as we have it. Uh, first up, KG9DK. Good evening, John. Uh, it's been a couple weeks. How are you doing, and what have you been doing? Yeah, good evening, Jeff, and the rest of the folks on the net. Well, what I have been doing right today is trying to stay dry. <laughs> I think we've had about six or seven inches of rain in the last two or three days. Uh, according to my rain gauge, I've been dumping out. Can't keep up with it. But uh, not a whole lot. Uh, been going through stuff, boxing some things up that... Uh, if and when we have another ham fest, uh, assume next year, 
I'll take it to the ham fest or at least it'll be boxed up and uh, I know that's where it's supposed to go or something like that. Trying to do an inventory is a box it, so if I got to look for something, I'll go ahead and and we'll have to tear the whole box apart to see if it's in there. That's about it, taking up my time and uh, sort of watching the summer fade away here. This is KG9DK, back to net control. All righty, John. Well, hey, uh, it seems like you always have some kind of project going on over there, uh, getting things squared away and organized. Uh, I imagine you probably have a lot of stuff to uh, keep you busy to do that. So uh, hopefully there will be a ham fest. I know there's one supposedly scheduled, but hey, in these, what's the term they use nowadays? Un these unprecedented times, you never know what's going to happen. But but anyway, good to have you on the net this week. And uh, yeah, stay dry. Uh, summer is definitely uh, gone. It's fall. It's down in the 50s. It's rainy. You can't get much more fall than that. Okay, we'll break with John and check in with uh, Randall out there in Taylorsville. Good evening, Randall. K9 RMR, your turn for comments. Well, good evening, Jeff, and everybody on the uh, net this evening. Uh, I have to go along with what was said earlier, just trying to stay dry. It's been raining most of the day today on and off. Uh, no flooding so far, but uh, if it does this tomorrow, that may be another story altogether. But uh, so far, so good. Uh, still dry. So I'm inside, of course. But uh, other than that, uh, not a whole lot going on. Just... Uh, Trying to, like I said, stay dry and uh, doing some stuff on the computer a little bit earlier. But uh, aside from that, not like I said, nothing exciting. So uh, with that, I will send it back to Net Control K9JJ. This is K9RMR. Uh, hope everybody out there has a good week. Uh, send me three. dry and keep doing what you're doing and we'll catch you on another net i'm sure thanks for checking in this week appreciate that we'll break with you and check in with kd9 rpb good evening bruce good to see you last night at the pizza night uh anything additional to add to the conversation your turn kd9 rpb good evening jeff and everybody on the net no not really i enjoyed uh, finally getting out Trying to get back in the swing of things. It's been kind of a silly summer for me, but uh, like everyone else, I think today I've been just staying in and watching it rain. And uh, my rain gauge here south of Columbus is showing almost two inches today also, so I, I'm kind of up there too, around six inches for the last few days. So uh, wind's supposed to pick up and get a little cooler. So like you said, fall is definitely in the air. Uh, not much else going on, so I'll send it back to net control, J or K9 JJ from KD9 RPB. All right, Bruce. Well, once again, good seeing you last night. Uh, yeah, from what I understand, you've had quite a crazy summer. Uh, a lot of stuff to deal with, but uh, hey, you made it through it, and uh, it's time to move on. Uh, a lot of rain. A lot of rain. Don't have one of those rain gauges, but all I got to do is look out and see how wet everything is. But, uh, yeah. But, anyway, thanks for being on the net this week. Appreciate that. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you again here real soon. Uh, we'll break with you and check in with Mike, WE9MI. Good evening, Mike. Uh, how's everything over there uh, at your household? K9JJ from WE9MI. Uh, not too bad. Uh, woke up this morning to find... Uh, bunch of city trucks out in front of the house. Apparently the neighbor's tree, uh, well, part of it anyway, lost its battle with gravity last night. Actually came across the road and broke a couple branches off one of our trees, but uh, they had that cleared up in reasonably short, uh, short order this morning. But uh, other than that, a little bit of excitement, not much. I'm, uh, I think almost at the end of a very long week of making presentations, so I'm, I've got one more tomorrow, and then I'm just about presentationed out for the week, but uh, anyway, um, yeah, other than that, 
not doing much. Looking forward to maybe uh, playing around within tennis this weekend, I think. I don't know. We'll see how things go. But uh, trying to get something high enough in the air that I can hear more than just Noel for the uh, Simplex Fellowship uh, League or net on Friday. That's about it. I will uh, wish everyone 7-3 and send it back to net control. WE9MI. WE9MI, K9 JJ here. Hey, Mike, real quick, uh, do you remember whether or not uh, you were able to hear me last Friday? Uh, you should have been able to. If you were here, no, okay, you should have been able to hear me, but uh, maybe you didn't. Uh, do you recall one way or the other? I was probably getting about 50% of what you were saying. Um, if I uh, if I turned the squelch down to just open it up and uh, and then was able to pick your voice out of the out of the static, I could I could make out what you were saying some of the time, but not enough to uh, probably carry on a meaningful conversation. W9MI. That's interesting because I was uh, I was hearing you just fine. I think you said you were running two watts, and uh, at one point I was I think I started out at 25 and then took it down to five, and Noel was still copying me just fine. But uh, well, we'll see what happens this week. Uh, maybe it was just the way things were that night. But anyway, uh, thanks for checking in, and uh, you guys stay healthy over there. Hope everything's going well with that. And we'll talk to you again here real soon. We'll break with Mike and check in with Mike, KV9Q. Good evening, Mr. Likens. Uh, what are you liking tonight? Well, good evening, Jeff. This is KV9Q. Not a whole lot to say. Glad to be on the net this week. Had a fun time meeting and eating some pizza with everybody, and hopefully we'll uh, be able to do that again. Other than that, not much going on with the radio scene, so I'll turn it back over to you. Keep it short tonight. Gave me nine key back to net control. KV9Q, K9JJ here. Well, Mike, everything seems to be working good. Uh, radio sounds fine. Uh, yeah, last night was a good time, and we'll definitely have to uh, look forward to some uh, future events uh, in the uh, in the future. Uh, not sure if she has any additional comments, but uh, KD9PJO, uh, if you're still with us, it's your turn. Yes, I'm still here. Good evening, Jeff, and everyone on the net. Um, I just wanted to say that I had really enjoyed myself last night. It was good getting together and talking to everybody and seeing everybody. And I have been definitely studying today, and I have a goal set, so I'm definitely going to be there next month to test. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing everybody then. This is KD9PJO. Back to you, Net Control. KD9PJO from K9JJ. Okay, Miss Ashley, thank you. Yes, it was good seeing everybody. And like I said, we'll definitely have to plan some future events. Uh, you keep starting, and if uh, there's anything anybody, of, uh, any of us can do to help you out with something, uh, maybe if there's an area that you're not quite clear on, uh, feel free to ask. We've got a lot of people here we're, uh, pulling for you. So, But anyway... Uh, good to have you on the net. It's always good to have you and Mike uh, check in with us. That does bring me down to the bottom of my list as I currently have it. This is K9JJ with the Bartholomew County Aries Net. If we have any additional people that would like to check in with us at this time, please call now. Kilo Delta 9 Victor. Assuming that was you that responded, but all I got was three open squelches with no audio. Uh, can you try one more time, please? Sure. Nangers, Nick, November, India, Charlie, Kilo, Intra, Bowder. All right, I copy.
copied your name as Nick, but I uh, did not get your location. One more time, Nick, please. About it, Nick. I'll look you up on uh, QRZ, and we'll take it from there. Appreciate you trying to check in this week. We are here every week, uh, every Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. Uh, I do share Nick control responsibilities with uh, K9OPO. We switch from week to week. But uh, feel free to check in with us again. Uh, might just be a matter of uh, where you're standing with that HT or, or whatever, but uh, happy to have you with us. Anyone else that would like to check in, call now, please. A relay. Go ahead, Relay. It's KG9DK. Jeff, I believe he said topographer. Uh, my problem, I can't pronounce it, but I believe that's where you said he was. This is KG9DK back to net control. Uh, like I said, I'll look him up real quick here on QRZ. I just happen to be on that page already, and we'll verify that here. You were correct, John Trafalgar it is. But anyway, I didn't hear anyone else come back with any additional check-ins, so does anyone that's on the list tonight have any additional input, whether it be questions, comments, or otherwise? Call now. Good to have a nice group on here on Wednesday night, and I do appreciate you taking out a few moments of your evening to be here. Also, would like to thank the Columbus Amateur Radio Club for the use of this repeater on a weekly basis. We appreciate that. And I'll now turn that repeater over to uh, normal amateur radio usage. Uh, we'll call the net closed here at uh, 2350. The clock just rolled over. It's 2350 Zulu time, 750 p.m. Eastern local time. Uh, this is K9JJ closing the net. Wishing you all 73. The net is now closed and I am clear. KD9V. KD9V, K9RMR, uh, copied your signal. Go ahead. Getting into the repeater better now? Uh, this is K9RMR in t uh, Taylorsville. Yeah, you're coming in a little bit better. Uh, try some more and let's uh, see how you sound. I doubt I'd get an HT all the way to Columbus uh, from here, so am I getting in better now? Uh, you've got a little bit of uh, background noise, but uh, you're perfectly legible, uh, so uh, overall not too bad. Uh, you're coming in. I can uh, hear everything you said just then, so uh, like I said, not perfect, but good. So uh, K9RMR, back to you. Yeah, I'm not exactly in the best uh, position for VHF, UHF, but especially long haul propagation, uh, especially with the local terrain here, is not exactly favorable. Uh, I have a lot better luck getting up in Indianapolis and stuff than, I, than south because it's just hills and valleys and more hills and valleys, and then you have the and then you also got the military phase between. Okay, well, you broke up a little bit there on the end, but I got most of it, and, uh, yeah, I didn't even think about the military base having an effect, but uh, that, uh, that does kind of make sense, thinking about all the stuff they have up there, that uh, maybe they got some interference or stuff. I, I mean, I don't know, but, uh, like I said, overall, it came in pretty good. I lost you a little bit at the end there, but uh sounded pretty good. You said uh, doing 50 watts, so... Uh, well, I can understand the HT not making it, but like I said, with 50 watts, you're doing, uh, for the most part, okay. So, uh, back to you. Yeah, I was, uh, I've been operating on 15 this afternoon. It's been open. I heard of BK a little bit ago. Uh, it's working a lot of uh, uh, California, six lands, uh, seven land, and also uh, heard of Puerto Rico on 15 in the general portion of, as well. So. And I'm just looking at the waterfall here. There's a whole bunch of stuff there. 
like I got the SDR uh, website thing here for use call open so I can see. And it looks like there's a uh, phone Q, uh, sideband QSL on 2170 right now. Well, that sounds good. Uh, I don't have uh, I don't have any HF capability on this radio. I'm handheld right now, so uh, I'm uh, I got five watts at going out. Uh, so I, like I said, I don't even have a, have any HF capabilities on this radio. So uh, that sounds good. Uh, I'm in the process of uh, upgrading some equipment when I get get a little bit more money. Uh, I got a tower and. Uh, it's just a matter, matter of getting uh, getting another radio and getting uh, an actual antenna to put on top of the tower. But uh, I had some uh, guys here locally help me. Neighbor, uh, I had a uh, person uh, on my street donate it to me when they moved in, and uh, still needs a little bit of work. But uh, I'm hoping to be uh, HF capable here, not too much distant future. So. Uh, Good. Glad to hear that you're uh, doing good with the uh, HF on your end. You can also um, um, don't need a radio for this. Uh, just a computer with internet access and probably a speaker or headphones. Uh, if you go to Web SDR uh, um, and, and look it up, look the guys here. Let's see what uh, got Web SDR dot org. Uh, and you can there's a whole bunch of different uh, receivers in different locations and listen on different receivers on phone and phone VW. Yeah, you know, so like right now I have uh, I'm using the Utah, uh, Utah uh, SBR to see and it and now there's activity on 2180, just the waterfall scope and volume and, and receiver settings there. And the best part is it's free, so. Uh, Back to you, K9R. Sure, if it's a, I don't remember if it's a November or a Mike Romeo. Back to you. Yeah, it's a Kilo Nine Romeo Mike Romeo, K9RMR, and uh, you're breaking up a little bit, but I still got you pretty good. So, uh, well, I'm glad you're having. Like I said, uh, I'm in the process of saving up for a radio, a, a base station. Um, I'm enjoying my hand, my uh, Kenwood THG 74A, but uh, I'm definitely wanting to save up and are in the process of saving up. Get, uh, the one I'm looking at right now is the uh, Yesu uh, 991A, and uh, that has HF plus uh, VHF and UHF. Does everything apparently, or is supposed to. And uh, so uh, as soon as I can get that and get that antenna put up. Uh, it actually just comes down to a matter of getting the money to do it, but uh, that's the project in, in, that's in the works, and uh, I'm looking forward to doing some HF eventually. So, uh, got the privileges, and now I just got to get the radio. 9 Radio Mike Radio from KD9B. Yeah, but, uh, 991A, yeah, uh, one of the top radios you usually have on the market right now. By if it wasn't for the Elcraft K3 that I have, that's probably the radio I'd have. Um, that or that, if you're looking for something a little cheaper and older, uh, on the used market, I use you FTV47, does all but the same job, not as new, and also has satellite stuff in there, so you can do cross-band repeat, cross-band splits, and, and other stuff, where I'm not sure on the 991A capabilities there. Well, I uh, I definitely want to get one with a waterfall display. I know that much. Um, I had uh, a buddy of mine uh, here in Columbus let me borrow his one of his uh, 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 it wasn't old old but it was older uh, HF radio for a while, and I had a antenna. We strung up an antenna in my backyard in the tree. And uh, but it didn't it didn't have a waterfall it didn't it did not even have a scan feature and uh, it, I mean I heard some conversations but I wasn't able to actually make any contacts and without a waterfall or without even a, like I said it didn't even have a scan feature 
uh, which made it hard to find people. I mean, I found some, but it just def definitely that waterfall display. Getting a radio with that waterfall display is something I, I really want to do because I, I want I, I like I like doing the uh, QSO cards, and so I'm kind of I kind of like doing that. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. Just I, I gotta save up some more money. Uh, so with that, uh, K9 RMR, back to you. K9 RMR from KD9B. Yeah, the 991, if I recall correctly, does have a waterfall. Uh, also, speaking of HF antennas, uh, you're looking for uh, an HF antenna on the, on, the, on the cheap and DIY, and uh, guide poles is, uh, is, well, it's fun. It's the best bet that I can think of because you get one you put together, you can even make a bound and stuff for one, and you can probably buy, buy one as well, uh, a bound it is, if you can wire the wire portion itself. And also, if you, if you do do that, remember the formula 468 divided by the frequency in megahertz, and then for each leg, divide the total length by two. I hadn't thought about that for a while, but I'll uh, keep it in mind. Yeah, the, uh, I found an antenna. Uh, the one I'm looking at, it's like six, maybe six and a half feet long. But it's got, uh, it's actually got, uh, it's a dual where it's got the one, uh, an HF and the VHF and UHF. So it's got, it's actually, the, the whole system has two antennas and it's they're mounted together and you can mount it on top of the antenna, or excuse me, on top of the tower, together, and they're you know they're separated. And it's it's a nice little outfit. I think I, I think right now I'm looking. The price I saw last time was around 140 or 150 dollars, so it's not too bad. But uh, so like I said, it's hopefully it's not going to be too much longer, and I'm going to be able to get that tower put in and get a radio. It's just right now money's a little tight, so. Uh, as soon as I can save up some more money, <laughs> that's uh, it's one of my projects. Yes, uh, uh, yeah, also, with, uh, when you do get it, uh, there's a simplex uh, round table Sunday nights at 8 on, five two, on 14652, and then there's a side band one that follows that on 144210, if I recall correctly. Okay, uh, I'm not sure how good you're coming or how good uh, you're receiving me, but uh, your signal is uh, breaking up pretty seriously. So uh, um, if you want to try again, go ahead. If not, uh, I can call the call 73. But uh, you're breaking up pretty good. If you want to try again, uh, I got a little bit of what you just said, but the majority of it was uh, um, jumbled. So uh, go ahead and try again if you want to. Be able to, but if, once you get the 991A, you would be able to get, you 
should be able to get, make it that far on side band. So, whatever. Uh, I'm not sure if you're getting this per, uh, perfectly, but if not, we Back to you. Okay, well, I'm getting, I got the majority of that. Uh, you were mentioning some different uh, simplex nets, and like I said, like I said, as soon as I'm able to update some stuff, uh, I'm definitely gonna be checking. Like I said, I'm definitely gonna, be, I'm definitely interested in doing some HF stuff and, uh, you know, seeing all the different capabilities as compared to just the local stuff. So, um, I've got, like I said, once I once I get there, I'll, I'll be, I'm excited to get there. It's just a matter, of, like I said, get, getting the money and getting everything done and installed and doing what you got to do, but. Uh, Listen, I'm gonna. You're breaking. You're starting to break up pretty bad. So uh, I'm gonna gonna let you go. Listen, I appreciate uh, taking the time to talk to me and the information. And uh, again, it's good to have some more information and uh, some more things to think about and look up and uh, get on the computer and do some uh, do some homework. And uh, so, like I said, it's good to have that information and uh, something to go work on and. Uh, with that, I will say uh, good night. Uh, God bless. This is K9 RMR, uh, Rendell and Roof in Tisdale, Indiana, saying uh, 73. K9 RMR from KD9B. Yeah, the you dropped off quite a bit there, although I'll be able to think out most of your what you were saying. 73, uh, stay safe, uh, especially with with the equinox today and winter's knocking on the door very soon. So, 73, stay safe and have a good evening. K9 RMR from KD9B, 73. KD9 V, uh, K9 RMR, good night, 73. And I am clear. 73.